Hello, hello, hello and welcome everyone. Here is Scala and Scalacraft with another another game here on the Central Protocol map. Uh, with Starcraft 2 Legacy of the Void. Uh, here on the top right corner we see Red Zerg player named Ankov. And on the bottom left corner playing Blue Zerg, it's me, Scala. So, I got this uh, another ZBZ matchup lately, uh, I think last few days ago. And quite interesting, you know, uh, lately the leg legacy of the void, what do you see in the ZBZ matchup? It's usually Lynx, Bane Lynx, going into uh, Roach, Ravager, or Mutalisk. Somehow something quite similar here before in the uh, Heart of the Swarm, uh, when most people just went only for, for the Roaches or for the Mutas. Speed links, pain links, usually the start, and then it was all about who made the first mutas that that one won the game. So today, so today we're gonna see a little bit different ZBZ matchup. And uh, as you see, already both players are doing different tactics, and the Red Zer Zerg here, Ankov, is doing one base gas gas spawning pool. I'm not going for the speed instantly. Uh, and sitting on one base, while well, uh, the Blue Zerg player, Scala, here is going for a fast expand at first, then taking the gas, then taking a spawning pool. Uh, so definitely not something that's going for really, really aggressive build. Not as fast links as here we see from the Red Zerg, four links on the way already. Uh, Queen is on the way, and now starting to produce the speed. Uh, Scala is falling a little bit behind here, but as soon as the second base will kick in, that economy will will probably ro a skyrocket, <laughs> well maybe not a skyrocket, but definitely will do much much better than Ankov on one base here. Uh, that's another thing here, as you see as the, in the Legacy of the Void all the players tend to get the expansions really really fast, even before any barracks, gateways or spawning pools. And in, in this, especially in this map when it's like a four player position on each of the corner, uh, it's possible for players to spawn, it's a uh, Quite, you know, a risky game when you when you, you can put down the the hatchery like really fast, and if you expect the player being on a, on the mirror position on at the other other part of the map in a different corner, uh, but you never know, never know. So back to this game. So Ankov is now taking the second base, producing a lot of links on the way at the moment in defense position here for guarding the second base. He did the minor scouting here with Overlord. Oh, he's gonna lose the Overlord for sure. Really bad positioning here because this, the queen popped just underneath it. Bad position, just bad position. So at the moment he's supply blocked, can't produce any more links. And uh, Over Overlord is on the way at the moment, so speed is on the way for the Blue Zerg, and oh, that's a, a not that nice meeting for the Red Zerg. And, uh, I mean, for the Blue Zerg to meet the Red Zerg here in the bad position, uh, losing all links, but at least now it's known. Uh, this scouting definitely shows a lot of links on the way, and what are they gonna do? The Blue Zerg is retreating back to the base, the three spine crawlers are on the way. Uh, we're gonna do Red Zerg. Oh, he's not gonna touch the hatchery. Mm, maybe a little bit of a mistake here. Oh, this queen is bad after the position. Another queen is oh, not a good position as well. The queen is definitely gonna die, go, go down and three spires. Uh, I need to pull the drones and yeah, that's what it's gonna do. And there's some few links in the game now. Uh, more links coming up from, from the expansion base. And, uh, bad position here for the Red Zerg. Not doing as much as damage at the as he wanted to. At the moment, the super supply count count is quite even for both players. Uh, the red the red zerg is not mining from the expansion, just from the uh, from the main base. Mm, blue zerg is not mining at all. Just to chose those few links are uh, messing up a game a little bit, and uh, no mining is going on at the moment at all. Red zerg is playing, making more links and. Okay, so finally the the scout is taking care of the red zerg of Ankov here. All the links are taken care of. At the moment, supply count quite, quite even here. Well, both players are now sitting on two bases. Uh, the, I think the army count here is a little bit bigger for the for the Ankov. Um, Baneling's nest is on the way. Uh, speed is done. Just more links. A uh, few queens. Uh, I would say the both players are quite on the same ground at the moment. Uh, maybe Skull have a few spine crawlers. Not gonna do much of a difference here. It all depends on what Ankov is gonna do next with, with all those links. Um, 
Economy wise, you see the quite a big bank already saved up for Enkov. And maybe even the yeah, the, the first encounter here was, was better for Enkov and oh the big big link and, and encounter here next to the Blue Zerg base. Both players retreat. And oh, oh, oh we see the first banelings are on the way. Three banelings, twelve more zanglings. Uh, what is gonna Blue Zerg gonna do about it? Okay, mine more more spine crawlers. Um, replacing all both queens. Both queens are in the place. Mm, ah, sorry, only one queen is in the place. The second week queen is now in the place. Uh, no banelings nest. Oh, that's not gonna be that good. Uh, those banelings, if they manage to do the good connection, all the links are going down, and the, and the remaining red links can run by and just kill all the drones they want. So, what are we gonna see? Uh, Ankov is now building again some some drones and and. Where is that? Oh yeah, that's that that's a layer on the way. Mm, six minute layer. Uh, not fast, n not really slow, but definitely ahead of a of a blue zerg player here. And uh he's taking care of a Debris field. Unfortunately, uh, I'm assuming there's uh, no vision for 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 Scala here. Uh, no, he don't know. He have no idea what's gonna happen. Uh, don't see the Debris here. Just maybe, maybe a little bit cautious. Why there is no attack? The spine crawlers are in the place, making his own own two banelings, six banelings in total, producing roach warrant and more and more links. Both players still on a, on a two bases. Ankov is now taking care of his economy. He's taking a little bit of a supply leave here. Nah, not much. One overlord more, just a few more links. But he already already have a layer. Basically, yeah, that's it. That, 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 that's the whole difference here. Both players are taking out now. This now the skull is taking the layer as well. The only difference is have well, spore crawlers and the roach warrant. So let me just double check. Yeah, no idea what's gonna happen in what's happening in the base. Um, both players are playing quite blind at the moment. Uh, they really have no idea what tech other would have at home. So skull is choosing to go for a roach warrant. Uh, probably ro Roach Ravager, just Roach, mm, the typical here for ZBZ matchup. And okay, here's the Overseer in the base I'm doing the scouting. He sees the Roach Warren, he sees the uh, Spore Crawler, and a lot of links are incoming. Ah, they, he, he pulled back? Why? Why? Okay, he's gonna gonna pull the, the Bane Links here as well. Okay, so Bane Links are on the way, just need to make a good connection. Oh, and that was definitely not a good connection here. Uh, Blue Zerg player is behind, but he lose all the all the banelings, and those banelings could do the so so much damage here with the to the drones. And, uh, Scala now is chasing chasing down Enkov and catches those four four links here. Corner did. So what's gonna happen now? So Scala is going for the spire and a lot a lot of links here for Enkov. He managed to catch the queen. The queen is gonna get down. Oh! And those poor, poor drones, they're definitely gonna get hurt. They're definitely gonna get hurt by those links. Every single one of the drones are dead. A uh, lot of links are on the field now. They're gonna finish all, all the skeleton links as well. And the supply count still. Ankov is taking a lead, but now he's left only with the one base mining. Uh, while well, Skala is doing both bases and not fully saturated. Yeah, that, that's a shame here. But at least it's still two bases, and oh, 12 roaches are on the way, 12 roaches, but what we see, it's a Hydralisk, Dan, and uh, well, let me just check, yes, yeah, Skala saw it, uh, if, yeah, it's uh, me, I, I was for sure, I, I knew that the Hydras are coming, and well, uh, I was expecting, to be honest, Roach Hydra, I wasn't sure it's gonna be into the, this Lurker's Den, Something not quite common because, as I said, uh, I was expecting more, more spire play, roach, mutilisk, ling, baneling, something like that. Okay, now we're gonna see those those roaches are moving out. Uh, roaches, few banelings, more links. Well, the uh, Ankov is making those first hydras. First hydras are on the way, and still a lot of lot of gas and, and minerals available. But Skala have only get only get sorry only minerals available, and those minerals can turn either into the links, not really much in the roaches because the gas is limited. He's still mining only for, for yeah, for one gas. Definitely not worth it. Okay, and Ankov is preparing to meet him. Uh, few bailings on the way. 
Links are taking taking position here, while the Hydras are taking taking good attacks from the high ground. Uh, quite a good engagement here, but uh, those roaches could definitely definitely do better. Not the best engagement in the world, but the uh, roaches are taking care of those Hydras and now pushing in the base. Both players have the same su supply count, and oh, there's just a few few more few more Hydras here. One queen is attacking and. Ah, Roaches are quite damaged, and probably those Hydras and Queens are gonna take care of it. No problem. He's pulled some, pull some drones. Oh, no, 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 not, not pulled some good drones. And uh, Hydras took really good care of the Roaches. No, he's working into the Lurkers. The thing we don't really see that common, at least. I haven't seen them on the, on the ladder. On the, my level of, of play, it's a gold league. Gold, platinum, sometimes encountering some diamonds. Uh, something on something like that and then don't really see that 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 often so what i'm gonna do the blue zerg is turning all the minerals in, into the more links more roaches uh, economy maybe <laughs> i mean he's a little bit forgetting about the economy there's i think that there, there was a way to, to improve well now both players are on two bases the, the blue zerg is just opened the third base and no drones to mine there, making still making more and more roaches. No upgrades for the I think for the wealth of the players. Uh, uh, haven't I missed it? There's evolution chambers, but no upgrades. Yeah, it's a, a nice beautiful wall here, just to counter those those link run buys. Mm, but the, both players are open here from the natural, from in in the main bases. Uh, lurkers put down, making nice wall in and at. Will gonna counter those links if they're gonna try to run by or run strictly just straight into the base. Uh, so, what we gotta see here it's the Hancock is playing Hydra, Hydra Lurker, few links, maybe some main links. Overseers are on the way just to counter. I don't know what really to counter. Hmm, maybe he's expecting some, some invisible units here as well, so maybe uh, borrowed roaches or, or more lurkers. And uh, okay, here's the gonna be a uh, Attack and for the both players are at the no well, the, the blue zerg is a, ahead, but he will have more zerglings, and zerglings are not the best unit here against the lurkers. He's in a position, and the first lurkers are just ah oh, those devastating attacks. You see, just the HP are dropping dramatically, just drastically, and all those last roaches there are gonna just gonna melt away. They didn't even manage to get to one lurker here. And I need to do quite a big damage for economy, at least take those down those queens. One queen is down, second queen is down as well. Lurkers need here time to reposition. And maybe not the wisest decision here, but because of this, uh, the spine crawlers, wasn't really able to kill the drones. And oh, all those roaches are no god. Uh, while Ankov still have all his lurkers, few hydras left, and more on the way. Three more hydras, three more lurkers. And taking the supply lead. Really good defense here. Those roaches just melted away. So, what is the blue zerg's response? Um, warping in some overseers to 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 be able to see that uh, the lurkers. More roaches, more zerglings, more banelings. Well, that's not a good defense against the lurker Hydra. Actually, after this game finished, uh, I took a while to take a look in the in, a, in the forums and take a look at the Reddit. For players, how do you really counter the lurkers? You know, on the on the help menu, you see the great unit against lurkers is yeah, exactly. It's ultralisks, but you can't really get ultralisks out of that moment, especially in a such game like this. Yes, uh, lurker Hydra is not really mobile. Mobile co composition of attack force of the army. You position position them at the one place. You can't really go be all the places at the same time you can't really defend that easily maybe some some run bys with the links and but i see here's quite a lot of spine crawlers and the uh, ankov is still only on two bases the supply count is quite similar here oh the third base is gonna go down uh, queen died almost instantly what is the the, uh, the blue zerg's response yeah you you see we are uh, he have a we have a spine, and uh, what really you can make there? You can't really make any broodlords. Well, broodlords could be good against this. Just only a few hydras, five, sorry, six hydras left. Uh, more lurkers. Mm, okay, so trying to counter them with some overseers, uh, roaches taking down care of one lurker. 
almost to go second look and lost all roaches and all the we are are down. It's just, it's just the force is unstoppable. Uh, we see six metalists on the way. It's obviously too few to take care of the hydras, but maybe to take some damage, take take some damage. I mean, do some damage up here in the base, but do much hydras here and the queens as well. It's gonna be be tough. It's gonna be tough. So now we see the big attack slowly moving in on a, on a blue zerg, it's two base versus two base and oh let's be honest, Scott is in a bad position, in a really bad position. Nothing really to do to do against that, no production, all well, the mineral and, and gas bank is a little bit, supply drop is almost twice as low in the supply and, and as I mentioned before I read through the forums that against how to counter these attacks, uh, Lurker Hydra, you need to do either Ultralisks Brewlocks are not bad, but those all are tier 3 units, so the only thing is don't make any roaches, links and bane links, that's definitely not gonna work. What you need to do is make your own lurker hydra army and stay ahead of your opponent. Keep scouting and now we, ah oh, sorry, a little bit, a little bit messed up uh, of a mutalisk attack here, and now yeah, yeah, it does really go well, now just a few drone kills. And ah, oh, all the mutalists are down. And Blue Zerg is on one base, just a few roaches left, one queen, nothing really to do. Just last try, last push here to just kill one lurker. It's still six lurkers, a lot of hydras left. Nothing to do, and this is this is gonna be a GG. Um, as I said, not really typical, typical ZBZ matchup, but very very annoying hard to be dealt with so as always guys scout scout again and act accordingly and don't make any roaches links bane links that's not gonna work well okay guys thank you for watching please like and share and uh, tell your opinion about what do you think about hydra lurker here in the comments see you soon bye